okay so let us uh, see how uh, pyrimidines that is uh, your cytosine your acyl and thiamine gets uh, catabolized in our previous lecture we have seen that uh, ctp utp and tttp they are formed and these forms nucleic acids these forms nucleic acids now in this lecture we will see how these nucleic acids will break down further in presence of nucleases and phosphodiesterases nucleases phosphodiesterases they are broken down into purines and pyrimidine nucleotides purine and pyrimidine nucleotides purine nucleotides were amp gmp imp and so on so these were converted into uric acid this much we have seen increase of this uric acid will lead to gout that is another disorder that we have seen in purine catabolism now in pyrimidine nucleotides we have three pyrimidine nucleotides cmp okay ump and tmp or dtmp all right now these nucleosides sorry these nucleotides in presence of enzyme 5 prime nucleotidase in presence of the enzyme 5 prime nucleotidase cleaves their phosphoryl group and converts them into cytidine uridine and deoxythymidine and deoxythymidine all right so these nucleotides now they have become nucleosides these were nucleotides these are nucleosides all right so here they have nucleotidase what does it do it removes the phosphate group all right now cytidine uridine and thymidine they can be converted to their nitrogenous basis that is cytosine uracil and thymine by removal of their sugar molecules so these three now become the nitrogen basis the nitrogen basis which is the enzyme yes purine sorry pyrimidine nucleoside phosphorylase pyrimidine nucleoside phosphorylase first what happened there are these nucleosides these nucleosides sorry nucleic acids they have either come from the diet as we have seen our in our purine uh, catabolism class they have either come from diet or by apoptosis of apoptosis of cells or cell death now they are broken down by nucleases into their respective nucleotides purines and pyrimidines purine catabolism we have seen which will finally lead to uric acid pyrimidine nucleotide cmp ump and dmp they also break down in a similar way like amp gmp and imp wherein in the first step they are converted to nucleosides by five prime nucleotidase and in the second step by a phosphorylase 
by removal of ribose sugar ribose 1 phosphate is removed ribose 1 phosphate is removed and they form cytosine uracil and thiamine now this cytosine it cannot undergo any catabolism further and this cytosine gets converted by a d aminase that is cytosine d aminase by a cytosine d aminase wherein the amino group is removed now this uracil further undergoes catabolism uracil and thiamine both of them they undergo further catabolism to form dihydrouracil and dihydrothymine now this occurs in presence of dihydropyrimidine dehydrogenase dehydrogenase okay nadph forms nadp plus okay in presence of the enzyme dihydropyrimidine dehydrogenase now this dihydrouracil and dihydrothiamine they get converted to urido propionate and urido isobutyrate and urido isobutyrate in presence of a hydratase that is hydropyrimidine hydropyrimidine hydratase then in presence of a lyase uridopropionate in presence of uridopropionase it gets converted to beta alanine and isobutyrate correct gets converted to beta amino isobutyrate all right in presence of urido propionase all right finally this beta alanine gets converted to melanyl coa and beta amino isobutyrate it gets converted to methyl melanyl coa which finally gets converted to succinyl coa and enters enters the tca cycle melanyl coa goes is, goes into fatty acid synthesis goes into fatty acid synthesis all right so what do we know here cytosine forms uracil this step can occur here also cytidine can also form uridine in presence of cytidine d aminase cytidine d aminase both can occur okay so we have nucleotides cmp ump and dtmp which have lost a phosphate in presence of 5 prime nucleotidase to form the respective nucleosides cytidine, uridine and thymidine. These after removal of their sugars, after removal, sorry, after removal of their sugars, they become their respective nitrogen base that is cytosine, uracil and thymine. Cytosine can get converted to uracil or cytidine can get converted to uridine in presence of a D aminase. Uracil and thymine will further undergo catabolism. In presence of a dehydrogenase, they form dihydrouracil and dihydrothymine, which in presence of a hydratase forms uridopropionate and uridoisobutyrate, which gets converted to beta alanine and beta amino isobutyrate. 
which beta alanine gets converted to melanyl CoA and goes into fatty acid synthesis. Amino isobutyrate gets converted to methyl melanyl CoA, forms succinyl CoA, and finally goes into the TCA cycle. Now let us look at few important things here. This enzyme dihydropyrimidine dehydrogenase, if it is absent, it will block this step. It will block this step. When this step is blocked, uracil and thiamine, they come inside the urine. Uracil and thiamine to form combined uraciluria thymine urea combine uraciluria or thymine urea or beta hydroxy butyric acid urea we see many neurological sequelae because of this disorder all right Next, beta amino isobutyrate being more water soluble is excreted more in leukemia as well as tumor lysis syndrome. In both cases, what happens? The cell breaks down very fast, which will lead to increased nucleic acids, which will lead to increased nucleotides, increased nucleosides, increased nitrogenous bases and increase byproducts of that beta amino isobutyrate will come inside the urine all right in leukemia and tumor lysis syndrome and its excretion can be used as a test for dna turnover so the test of dna turnover okay because it is easily excreted inside the urine all right coming to various inborn errors of pyrimidine metabolism first is uridine 5 monophosphate synthetase its deficiency will lead to aortic acid crystalluria obstructive uropathy and megaloblastic anemia why megaloblastic anemia because the dna formation is not there the cell becomes big but uh, when cells uh, becomes big and there is no dna to uh, divide it remains like that and megaloblasts are formed pyrimidine 5 prime nucleotidase which converts the <coughs> nucleotides to nucleosides deficiency of that will lead to hemolytic anemia pyrophosphorylase deficiency that is thymidine pyrophosphorylase deficiency will lead to mitochondrial neurogastrointestinal encephalopathy dihydropyrimidine dehydrogenase will lead to combined uh, thymine urea and uraciluria with seizures motor and mental retardation dihydropyrimidinase deficiency will lead to seizures and mental retardation and uridopropionase deficiency will lead to hypotonia and hypotonia dystonia and developmental delay you know, apart from this you need to remember dihydropyrimidine dehydrogenase deficiency all right so that is all about pyrimidine catabolism Next class, next video, we'll be seeing about salvage pathway and Leshnai hand syndrome.